Alternate side parking rules back in place this morning. They were suspended to allow snow, snow removal, but many are wondering why so many huge piles of ice and snow remain on the streets. CBS 2's Janelle Burrell joins us live from Prospect Heights in Brooklyn. Janelle. Yeah, Mary, with all of the record cold we've been having, you don't have to look far to see what people are complaining about. You can see here along St. Mark's Avenue in Brooklyn, these cars sitting on top of inches of ice. And if you haven't cleared out your car the last several days, you might have a long morning ahead. The good news, temperatures expected to be higher today, so sanitation crews will have some help in terms of the ice melting. But some say those crews should have been here sooner. Chipping away at the hardened snow and dangerously thick ice. That of residents like this man in Cobble Hill, Brooklyn, says it's not his job. He wants to know where are the city's sanitation workers. It's not right. Um, I have to come back out here and clean out the walkways. That's not my responsibility. Well, today they'll be back. Until today, alternate side parking had been suspended 22 of the last 24 days in the city, leaving many to wonder, with all of that time, why having crews? been able to do more to clear the streets. They've suspended it for snow removal, but you don't see anybody removing the snow. Sanitation Commissioner Catherine Garcia says one reason, it's been too cold. When we get temperatures that are this low, when we push the snow out and crush it and then salt it, it's not going to melt. And we're just going to create ice in the driving lanes. Garcia says since the trucks weren't clearing, she ordered the alternate side parking suspension, hoping to save drivers the hassle of having to move their vehicles. She says crews had still been clearing ice and snow from crosswalks and bus lanes. But as people struggle to make it across the mounds that remain, some say more needs to be done. It's not good. A lot of lawsuits against the city for people slipping, possibly. Yeah, it's certainly going to take a lot of manpower by the sanitation department to help break up all of this ice. And because there is so much that still is out here, you certainly want to take your time if you're walking and even as you're getting into your vehicle to make sure you don't slip. But again, those temperatures hopefully helping out the crews here this morning, but alternate side parking back in effect. So make sure you move your car if you need to. For now, we are live in Prospect Heights, Brooklyn. Janelle Burrell, CBS 2 News. Janelle, thank you.